Advent. Um, this is a shameless advertisement for joining a gospel friendship group. I like to think of these as extra small, small groups. So in a small group, you're getting to know 15 or 20 people socially, and you're able to discuss um, books of the Bible or other books and pray with them and get to know their families. In a gospel friendship group, that is shrunk down to two or three people that you are getting to know in a deeper and more intentional way. Uh, my group is made up of four ladies. We formed about a year and a half ago, and we've been meeting weekly, um, typically at a park or a coffee shop, but lately over Zoom, of course. Um, we organize our time around a particular question that for forces each of us to focus our attention on something about the intersection of our lives and the gospel. We take turns thinking of these questions and posing them to the group, and then everyone has to answer. So in a given week, we might be talking about how we respond to a certain Bible story or what we truly believe about some aspect of God's character or how we might answer one of the questions that Jesus poses to people in the gospel accounts. Sometimes our conversations are very serious or sad, and sometimes they're more lighthearted or imaginative. Um, the most powerful thing about my group, for me, is having the experience of seeing God work in someone else's life in tangible, undeniable ways over a period of time, and seeing that causes me to believe that God is working in my life too. Um, the group has made me realize how difficult it is for each of us to see spiritual growth in ourselves without the help of other Christians. Our perspective can be limited to what's going on in the present and how we feel about it right now. But when others are with us week after week and month after month, they can see aspects of our lives from a wider angle and they can insert things into the conversation that we don't see on our own. The women in my group will remind me of a prayer request that I had months ago, and I've totally forgotten about it, but they'll say, do you remember when this was an issue for you back in November? Look at what God has done here. Um, and I would not have been able to see it if they hadn't pointed it out. Or I'll make a comment and they'll say, whoa, you would not have been able to say that a few weeks ago. What has changed? Um, they ask me about my relationships and my sin, and they challenge me to think about what the next steps are that God could be wanting me to take in some area of my life. And they generally just tell me things about myself that I can't see on my own, and they encourage me. Um, and then I get to do those things for them, too. And it's so satisfying to watch God moving in the life of a friend that you care about and to be able to rejoice with her when she's rejoicing and mourn with her when she's mourning and to have hope for something in her life when she's discouraged and doesn't believe that change will happen. So that's the advertisement. Gospel friendship groups are worth your time. If you're not sure about it, then just find a few men or women in the church that you'd like to get to know better and ask if they would want to meet for three months. And then all of you can evaluate whether you want to keep going. Um, regular small groups are about to take a break for the summer, so this is a really good time to try something different and see what God will do. So that's it. I look forward to seeing all of you in person, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, God's peace to you.